Virgo, it's Suzanne with Sunny Forest Tarot, here to do your weekly reading for May 18th through the May 25th. All right, so we're going to start with two oracle cards. These decks are very angelic and very ethereal, very spiritual, and everything is pink and purple including me. Whoops. Wow, that would not. <clears throat> so the pink is for the heart chakra. Heart chakra can be pink or green. And then the purple is for the crown chakra, which is about knowing. So knowing your heart, knowing love. All right, so let's see what we have here. Virgo. The ever unfolding rose, cracked open, it's happening for you, for you, not to you. Gosh, you know, it's so strange. I've heard that saying like probably three or four times in different places in the last few days. It's happening for you, not to you. So you might feel like something is happening to you. The ever unfolding rose, so it, something might be taking a very long time. And then we have the blue flame, spontaneous awakening, activation, integration time. So, look at that. Cracked open, it's happening for you, not to you. Spontaneous awakening, somebody is having a spontaneous awakening. It's like an activation, like it happens almost overnight. So somebody is experiencing something huge right now. Could be you, could be the other person. Chances are it's the other person. And this is happening for you. Somebody might be going through literally a spontaneous awakening for you. Let's see. The top row is you. And the bottom row is your person. These cards here, these big purple cards, are too heavy for me to shovel and sh shuffle <laughs> in the traditional way. So I have to do one of these. All right. All right, so let's see. What is this about? For you, we have Queen of Swords. So Queen of Swords says that you might not be heavily in your heart space right now, or you might not be very emotional or not feeling very emotional about somebody. You might be very matter-of-fact, almost... Almost to the point where, you know, to the point of being a little bit cold, okay? We don't know what that's about yet. Ten of Cups. So, I feel, you know what? I feel like this is about you feeling like something is happening to you. Queen of Swords is all about that energy. Right? It's based on what's happened to her over the course of time, which has hardened her heart. And then, look at this. It's like overnight, Ten of Cups. Going from Queen of Swords to Ten of Cups overnight. Emotional fulfillment, showing that spontaneous awakening. The spontaneous awakening might be happening to you. Wow, the moon. Card of Pisces. So, I feel like what could be happening here, you might not be very clear about something. Again, the ever unfolding rose. Something has taken a very long time to show itself to you. It's happening for you, not to you. So the reason for this timing has been for you. Right now, this if you can be in this moon energy, which is the feminine energy of allowing, 
versus looking at this moon as I can't see clearly, that will bring you closer to your Ten of Cups energy, closer to that, you know, whatever emotionally fulfills you in your heart. Where is this person at right now? We've got Five of Cups. Okay. So this person is feeling a sense of loss. So you might have cut somebody away. You might have done something rash. You might have done something that, you know, you didn't put a lot of thought into. You might have hurt this person. Ace of Swords, look it. You did. I feel like you told this person some type of truth without a lot of emotion that really hurt this person. Like you'd really... It's not so much what you said, it might have been how you said it, which was without any, dare I say, kindness. And then we have the hermit. This person is alone right now. This person is kind of, they've kind of gone into their, their little cave. The hermit is also you. Uh, yeah, I feel like you hurt this person. I feel like you hurt this person with your words. In your Queen of Swords energy here. You know, and what you said or what you did might have caused a spontaneous awakening for this person. It might have activated them in some way. All right, so I want to clarify all of these for you. Queen of Swords, Ten of Cups, and the Moon. Whoops, and then I want to clarify the Ace of Swords and the Hermit. All right, so Queen of Swords clarified by the Fool. Okay, yeah, I feel like I feel like you did something without thinking. Okay, I felt that before. I felt I feel like you took a risk and it might have backfired with um, how the message was delivered. This Ten of Cups. We have the Unknown card. So that means I have to stop with clarifying. How you find your emotional fulfillment is not meant to be revealed to you at this time. Um, the spontaneous, and I feel like it's because of this blue flame, the spontaneous awakening. That could be what this unknown is. Have you awakened or haven't you? You might have had a spontaneous awakening. The moon clarified by the tower. There's the awakening. This awakening is going to give you clarity if you allow yourself to be in that feminine energy of allowing. You know, this reading might be, I don't know, it might be over some people's heads because these readings have been very spiritual. Ace of Swords clarified by Temperance. So this is a card of Sagittarius. I feel like The truth that you spoke to this person, might have been very, um, might have been very much in need of balance, like it might have been very concentrated in what's going on in the physical world. It might have been very passionate, but I feel like um, it was there wasn't a lot of thought put into it, and there wasn't a lot of emotion. It was thoughtless and emotionless, and that's why this person has the Five of Cups over here. They were truly hurt, and Hermit clarified by Two of Cups. They still see you, Virgo, as 
this loving mutual connection that they desire. They want you. They love you. And I don't feel like you know exactly what it is that you want yet. I feel like you're the one that might be going through an awakening or even a dark night of the soul. All right, so we're going to pick, for the final card here, we're going to pick a Major Arcana, and this deck actually splits has two of each major arcana, one on the dark side, one on the light side. So let's see what we get. We have justice. And it's the dark side of justice. So indicating a, you know, an imbalance. And you know, you can see the sword is off to the side a little bit. That means that we're not looking at the complete full truth of something. And this scale is heavily, more heavily weighted on the past. So you are more focused on what has happened to you versus for you. You're not seeing it in that light yet. Okay? This person... I feel like this person is genuinely a good thing for you. You might have cut this person off too soon or this person in particular feels like a really loving energy and they're very hurt and I feel like you are the one that's going through that awakening and it's to it's to balance something out in your life it's a it's allowing you to to move forward and adjust the scales here so as to not be living in the past constantly Spontaneous awakening. Just out of curiosity, look at this. All right, so this person has the sun. This person is moving towards joy. This is your future, bliss. This is your past, being stuck in this energy of, I don't know what to do. I've got too many options. I've got too many choices. The ever unfolding rose. So these are the two things that need to be balanced. You can have beautiful sun, beautiful bliss, freedom, happiness. If you get out of this energy, it's almost like a curse for you to have too many options. That's the problem. And that's why you might see this tower, you know, things changing for you, taking away your choice. Because you might be blessed with having too many options. And that can be a blessing and a curse. All right, Virgo, that is what I have for you. Um, if you are looking for a personal reading, just reach out. I'm always here for you. I will respond quickly. If not, no problem. I will talk to you next time, and I might talk to you on Friday. I don't know. Uh, we'll see. Um, but I hope you have a lovely holiday next week if you are in the United States, and I will talk to you then. All right, much love.